a good bunch of mates will always make a ride more fun. So stop being a lone wolf, ditch the mates who always moan and put a good fun group together. Comfort is key when you're riding, especially on longer rides. I always wear a good padded short underneath my baggies. Think about a wicking layer if it's hot so you don't get all sticky and sweaty or a good waterproof jacket for when it's raining. How comfortable you are on a ride also stretches to your bike. Consider your saddle height, bar height, and also your cleat placement. Bear in mind, the fitter you are, the more comfortable you'll probably be. If you suffer from lower back pain or problems like this, consider core stability exercises, yoga, and even stretching. Relax. Every ride doesn't need to be a race or a challenge to ride the scariest terrain possible. Enjoy the terrain and the company you have. Don't put too much pressure on the way that you're riding. Try and build your confidence. Maybe sometimes stay well within your limits and identify the bits of trail that you're struggling at slightly and just practice those. Small steps will always build confidence better than giant leaps and big crashes. And a ride where you get better and more confident will always be fun. Point five, don't crash. There's nothing like crashing to dent your confidence, especially if you don't know what's happened. Make it more fun. I guess this is why we all started riding, right? For the pure pleasure. Try not to forget that. This is down to your personal preference of the type of riding you really like to do. If you like big miles, well how could you improve it? Maybe explore a new area or find new trails for you to ride. If you like hitting big jumps or going really fast, take a couple of days to build some new jumps or a new trail. Keep things fresh, that way you won't get bored. Don't just opt for the easy local option. Why don't you load the van up, get away for a weekend, and perhaps visit that trail centre that you've always talked about. Yeah, spending two days just riding your bike is great to get away from the stress of normal life, but also two days riding back to back is great for your skills. Ride in the sun. This isn't always possible, especially if you live somewhere like the UK. So why not book a holiday? There's loads of mountain bike specific holiday setups where you can go away and get some winter sunshine. Guaranteed to improve a ride. Stop blaming your kit. Somebody will always have a lighter, better, shinier bike. So just forget about that and ride what you have. The mountain bike industry is forever coming out with new innovations. Remember this, having the latest and greatest does not necessarily make you a better rider. Reward yourself. You've been out and had a great ride, your mood should have improved, you've got fitter, you've shredded the trails, you've been an all round great mountain biker. <laughs> so what better thing to do? Get yourself to the cafe or down the pub or perhaps if you don't drink, just go to the mountain bike shop and buy yourself some shiny new parts. You deserve it. Great. Cheers. So that's it for top 10 ways to improve a ride. And once you've finished riding, you might as well watch some of our videos. You can click up there for our top 10 playlist. And never mind going and buying shiny new bits to reward yourself. How about you get yourself a new bike? Check out our pro bike playlist, which is down there. Yeah. Or you can click on us to subscribe to GMBN. And see all the shiny bits on the videos that come in every single day of the week. Well, normally six days of the week, sometimes seven. Yeah, we rest on Sunday though. We ride on Sunday. We ride on Sunday. Occasionally. Thumbs up, like. That's Thumbs it. Thumbs up, like. Thumbs up, like. <laughs>